Welcome back to the island of Dr. Merwu. Where are Spinoceratops are ready? So we'll get them out here. Presume that they will need a proper fish feeder. It looks like we only had the two. Um, yeah. I also had to get rid of our batch of Spinoraptor eggs and get a new batch because they were all aggressive. And now we got a batch that's not any aggressive. So that's pretty cool. Um, we might have to wait a second to get them out because we're going to have to treat a concussed Gallimimus. But you know what? We can wait. I want dinosaurs. He's going to take a second to be over there. We got other people coming in from rest here. Any moment now. So yeah, it should be fine. We are coming out of a storm here at the start of the recording session. Which is right now. This is the start of the recording session. Uh, the Stegoceratops are dying out. So we need some of those. We have like one in this pen that's gonna that's not at risk of dying, like now. Okay, yeah, this works pretty well. Okay, uh, Spinoceratops number one. That is a nice looking one. I like the red on the gray skin. That is a Yukon Alethovate. It does, in fact, require a fish feeder. Not optional, it is completely required. Uh, here's a good question. What is in range of my frickin' ranger station? Nothing is. Okay, uh, you know what? We can manually, it's the end of the park build. Like, we won't have to restock this more than, like, once, maybe. Hey, Spider-Man Jr., how's it going? And where's our other... There's the other one. Spinoceratops number two. Also a very nice looking one. That's a really good color palette. I like it. This is Solar Papurana. Yeah, a lot of... A blend of, like, greens and yellows and oranges. That's a really good look. That's a really good color palette. Um, They're fighting for dominance. Do they... Okay, they don't need any other food types. They're good to go. So, let us pause. I'm doing well. We're just about done with this uh, park build, and we'll be able to move on to new stuff. We need Dagoceratopses, so I guess we'll do a round of these. Yeah, it's easier to do than more Spino. Um, we'll have to... I guess we'll just cut off a gene here to get it done with seven. Are we going to do that, actually? We can probably just put a coin in. Let's do that. Uh, six out of six, and you're a one. Become a two. Wait. No, it's a nine. Was it seven out of nine before? I could have sworn it was seven out of eight. <laughs> Losing my mind. It's fine. We've only just begun and I'm already going insane. Excellent. That's what I expect. Uh, six, three, go. Okay. Well, we'll get those new Spino Raptors in soon. Getting our Lux guys in now here. So this is a Gambia Lux. Oh, social animation with a Raptor. It's like when a big dog and a small dog meet in a park. Like, I know we're like kind of the same thing but it doesn't seem quite right okay well i didn't see which one you are your death valley lux and number five solar lux i mean right now definitely the lux is the part that stands out the base color doesn't do much um we do one of these and then the camera starts rotating but we can you know they'll see him have we ever seen how far the camera rotation will go? I assume it'll just complete spin like in a circle. Kind of just, it's kind of just going on its own. Uh, that was the Death Valley. There's the Gambia. Green and purple is a good look. Yeah, not bad. And number five. Another brown one. Two brown ones and a green one. Uh, and their territory is pretty good, so yeah. Five is uh, enough. What are these guys worth? 342 and a raptor is 223. Hmm. Okay. We also have Stegoceratops coming in. 
So, uh, the new batch is Lux ones here as well. Starting with 12, it looks like. Oh, God. The camera, stop. Got a purple one. This is so awkward. Why is the camera rotation bug still a thing? It's been like four updates since this started happening. That's an Amazon. The Yurd, was the last one Amazon? They're both like purple. Amazon Lux. Valbard Lux. No, this is more pink purple and gray purple. Great Sandy Lux. Yeah, brown guy. And lastly, we have a Yukon Lux. We've got a white, white and green, kind of a mint, a mint, uh, spearmint gum stegoceratops, I guess. So that'll keep that stegoceratops herd happy. Uh, four new ones plus, oh, and this one died of old age, plus whatever one or two were left over from before. This herd here needs refreshing soon too, but we just don't have, um, the space in this pen they're at three we can hold four so i think we get it once they're down to two we breed a new batch um that's probably the way to do that for the spinoceratops let's make sure we check out their lux pattern in a real world scenario uh do these guys they see we have Hold back genes occasionally. No, this is 10 is full gene spread. Okay. I was going to say we can check and make sure we didn't pull them off anywhere else. And if we're going to finish up the hybrid park, we need Tyrannosaurus so that we can do Indoraptor and Indominus Rex. So, uh, where do we still have Rex to dig up? There and there. I just didn't leave myself enough logistics because put you on a job and i should have kept you around well synthesis doesn't take that long we'll go do a rex dig when they're ready okay this time we do get all three we got a humble a humble social and just a skittish one so no uh aggressive there that time rex fossils are underway uh we had to put in another hotel here because we did have uh accommodation rating drop because we had more dinosaurs and I put in one little standalone shopping amenity to try to patch up a hole in the uh, in the spread. We were down like 80 some percent on shopping. And it's not just the capacity of the shopping of the park. The problem is we just didn't have, uh, yeah, the shopping is here. We've got uh, drinks here. And then there's not shopping till they get over here. Actually, maybe if we activated this one, it would have worked. But um, I forgot this one was deactivated. So, well. There we are. We'll leave this one here. It, it's fine. Um, we don't need to be perfect, especially not at this stage. We got enough money. We can see out the end of the park. It'll work. This is <clears throat> this is annoyingly bad. Um, do one of these. Do one of these. Wait. Do books. Now we just need a bunch of orange, which we don't actually have. You know what? Good enough. It'll uh, it'll change as that one fills up anyway. And then, yeah, this shifted. Okay, let's go check those eggs in a second. Oh, this is like, yeah, this was like a weird spread we put in this building originally because it wasn't uh, like really completed. Um. Sure, that should work. Ah, okay. Well, before that happens, do one of these. We can uh, take a peek at these guys after the storm. We'll just get them rolling out here. Do one, two, three. Just spread them out. Make sure their territory is pretty good. I don't know where they are right now. There's one. Ah, uh, shit. How much backup power are we draining? 11? 90, 90. Mm, we are actually tapped on power. Well. 
I guess I'm just gonna chuck in a small. There's no way we'll end up needing a large at this point. So let's just do this. Can we possibly get this in here straight? I feel like the answer is no. Good enough. Ah, let's just connect to this main hub. We are on a custom challenge mode that is mostly Jurassic, I guess. The big thing is we turned off research, which has had really weird consequences for the difficulty in that, like, obviously not having to do research is great, but it also, like, really messes with your early game because you have access to, like, more dinosaurs and dig sites than you want, right? You can't just go dig up Struthiomimus straight away because there's a bunch of other dinosaurs in the dig site. So it actually made the start slightly harder. Um, but yeah, definitely at the end here, it's a bit easier. Okay, uh, what do we got? Oh, did I never open shelters? Did I open them and then close them again? I don't remember. Well, whatever. There we go. But yeah, it's basically a Jurassic difficulty otherwise. Um, like, we set one of the settings... Okay, a fence just went down. One of the settings to hard because it was pretty unreasonable i think it's the it's the income one for whatever reason on um i opened and then closed fantastic <laughs> for whatever reason the custom challenge mode the jurassic difficulty income level is insanely high it's like nowhere comparable to even the base game challenge modes and it ends up making every park you build take like 20 hours it's not great um Okay, can you turn around, fix that, and then go do that? That'd be great. You already did it. Okay, a bunch of injuries coming up. Major fracture on a Struthiomimus. Age 59. Well, we know how this works. We take him out back behind the woodshed. Um, cause grandpa here doesn't have much time left and we're not going to pay his medical bills. So, uh, sorry, grandpa Struthy. I, uh, just got to get rid of you, friend. Okay. We lost a Gallimimus to old age. That did not actually register. Yeah, you just gotta kind of juggle them a lot during a storm. Okay, a, con a concussed um, Spinoceratops is definitely something we take care of. That's another dead galley. How many galleys are left? 15. Okay, we don't need to worry about the galleys. Uh, what about the Struthies? Six. So we probably should do another round of Struthies real quick. Uh, looks like our fossils also came in. So let's deal with Hmm. Let's get the concussed one dealt with first. Okay, who else is injured here? Strain from attacking the fences times two. The raptors are just pissy. In the storms. Get over there, fix that. Alright. So yeah, that's the other two injuries, so we should be good to go. Any second now, you will sedate that guy. So, we need six. You can do this by yourself. You need a rest. And, uh, Tyrannosaurus fossils. We had a one Carcharodontosaur left over from a thousand years ago. So we can't currently do an expedition. So I think um, I'm just going to toss you on this, speed it up a little bit. And then we'll do a round of Struthies real quick. Struthiomimus. So what else? Um, we're basically waiting for the racks, I think. We don't really need more raptors. 
Four is fine. We've got enough Spinoraptors. We're good. Yeah, Spinoceratops is being treated still. 40 seconds. Okay. So yeah, we'll get the Spinoceratops fixed and then we'll uh, go back out in the field. So let's check out our new ones because we just released three more. Um, so we've got Valbard Lux, we've got Yukon Lux, and we've got Sonoran Lux. Uh, just starting to glow in the evening, basically. I think. Yeah, the that is the glow. A little hard to tell when it's uh, like right in the middle of the day. There we go. Yeah, so basically the glow is the same color as the pattern on the Lux for these guys. Which I guess is just kind of true of the Lux patterns in general. Yeah, the base colors don't really do much here on these guys. These guys are all pattern for their aesthetics. Uh, no, that's one of those old Stegoceratopses. He can get the hell out of here. And then, yeah, this medic's done in 10 seconds and we'll get... Uh, oops, speed up. We'll get... Uh, stuff going oh and uh was their territory good oh yeah plenty of safety margin on them they're looking great okay so Whole staff is ready to go. Triceratops first, or Tyrannosaurus rather, first and foremost. No reason not to just finish a dig site. We'll need them all. And that leaves us with 11 genetics. I don't think I really need much. Oh, we did lose a Stegosaurus to old age. Um, they're down to five. Yeah, maybe we'll do a batch of Stegos. Let's do that. Yeah, let's just restock some of the other dinos. Stegos there. Stegoceratops here are down to... Actually, they're already down to two. We should do these guys right away. They don't even have an alpha. Okay, mobile vets on the way there. Yeah, one fish feeder is enough for five. Good. All right, Stegos, unfit, skittish, skittish, aggressive, social humble. We'll do we'll do the five that are not aggressive. Uh, I'm just gonna put them both on it. All right, there's the next hall of fossils. Um, so yeah. Judging by the fact that we only got one more Rex fossil, that dig site's definitely completed. Might as well clear all this out. And then we've got a bunch of people on break, so unfortunately we can't do too much else. The Stegos are ready, though, so we'll get them out at least. Start to... Uh, go on the corners here, make sure that territory takes up that whole pen. We're also building our carnivore paddocks up here, so this is going to be probably the Indoraptor paddock, I guess. Um, and then we'll put in like a Rex paddock probably over here. Let's see. What's your radius? You extend out just past that fence junction. So the junction is like right there. So like right there will be enough so that the predators don't detect each other. Perfect. Actually really good. Yeah, so we'll try this, and we'll just see if this is uh, sufficient. We're going to just put in, like, one Rax, one Indoraptor, one Indominus, I think. And then we'll fill in wherever we have space for whatever we need to reach five stars. Something like that. All right.
Okay, stegos are good. We'll check them out when they're on the ground because there still might be some cool color combos. And we'll need uh, one of these. Need one of these. We'll just split them up. Might as well. Okay. Uh, we need some stegoceratops. You're mad at me. So we'll put you on a break and then we can go dig. So it'll be you two. For stego. Were we losing parasaurs too? I'm just trying to remember from last time. No, I think we lost them because these ones are only 46. So this is a second wave that we did breed. My favorite dinosaur in the game is probably Carnotaurus. Um, I'm a big fan of Carno in general. One of my favorite new species added in the world era, design-wise. And, uh, yeah. I'm a big fan of Herrerasaurus, but I think the Herrerasaurus skins in GW2 are pretty ugly. Yeah, the Uteranus is really cool. There's a, there's a tier list video on the YouTube channel where I ranked all the uh, dinosaurs in the game based on how much I liked them. Uteranus was S tier, along with like Carno Herrera, a bunch of other guys. All right, looks like a good set of four. We got a social humble. We'll just chuck all four of these in the pen, and if the pen can't sustain them, we'll uh, ship out some of the old ones. And then we got somewhere some more Tyrannosaurus. There it is. Okay. Before I forget, Stegos are uh, kind of all piled up on top of each other here. But let's take a look. We got a Solar Lethal Baits, which I assume is... I don't know which one it is. Is it this one or is it this one? Well, it's one of them. We got a Quillian Papu. We got a Gambia Papu. I like the Gambia. The blue and purple is really nice on the on the flank here. Yukon Papu. Also absolutely amazing Stegosaur. Look at this guy. He's great. Yeah, and that is the Yukon specifically. Yeah. Amazon Urana number 13. And then we're back to the beginning. So we got a storm rolling in and these guys are really mad at me. Uh, what is my favorite Marine? I think don't even remember anymore what I put for my favorite. Um, I'm generally not a huge fan of marine reptiles or marine creatures in this game. Because um, they don't do enough. Which affects my ranking of them in general. Like when I, when I tier ranked everything, it was collectively my opinions on the animal, the design of the animal, and how it functions in game, basically. Just kind of how I felt about it. So there was kind of um, a general, why is this one 90, wait, oh no, no, I'm looking at the wrong number. They're all 99, just kidding. Um, yes, yeah, so let's go out two and three. There was kind of a general um, depreciation in the ranking for the aquatics, let's say. Most of the ones from the aquatic pack were the better ones. I put Archelon and, and Nothosaurus pretty high because they can actually go on land. Which makes them much more interesting to look at. Where is Stego 3? There he is. Um, I also like the Chronosaurus and the Styxosaurus. I think they both got pretty cool color palettes. Styxosaurus is actually a really good like dinosaur in-game. Or a really good creature in-game. Um, good bang for the buck. Good cohab options. Oh, shit. At least it's uh, a gate between two herbivore paddocks. But we do have a Struthi that just got through. Uh, what else is damaged? We lost a viewing dome. Oh, you're you're in the pen already. Well, shit, get that one. One more piece of damage somewhere. Ah, here. Let's just grab one of you guys up the hill and come down here and fix this for me. All right. I need to get these stegos sorted out before they start attacking these uh, these these forests, please. Or the fences. They're not going to attack the forests. The forests are where they live. They're going to attack the fences. I misspoke. 
Okay, not a bad storm, really. Uh, we also got to grab this wayward Ornithomimosaur. Get out of the pen. Go home, you dummy. Okay, and then these guys can come out right in here. They're, they're all Lux skins again. We should have probably mixed them up. Because they're not going to look like much of anything. That's probably like a Gambia. That's a Gambia. Everybody else is brown or green or some shit. Mangrove. That's actually mangrove? I guess it is yellow. Fair enough. That's actually Sonoran. That's a Sonoran. That's a Death Valley. Well, I had no idea what I was talking about, I guess. Uh... So they might actually be good once uh, the new alpha takes over. So we're just going to let them be. They can they can hang out. And you are sedated. Please return to your paddock. Oh, uh, fossils are still ongoing. Okay, yes. So, uh, two replacement herds of Stegoceratops. We replace the Stegosaurus. Triceratops. Five... Age 40. Okay, trikes are good. We did galleys. We did struthies. Both of those herds are good. Did we do galleys, actually? No, I didn't do the galleys. I thought about it. I remember. Gallimimus. Gala, gala, gallimimus. Wait, 18? Maybe I did do it, because they cap at 15. Eh. They have, they have plenty of room. Just do it. Just give me galleys. Okay. And no disease and no concussions. Fantastic. Fast of time. Hey, he's done. The queen is ready. So we'll send you to do that. And then in the meantime, we just uh, we just sit back and wait, and we're ready to go on Rex. These raptors are dying. Um, we are probably not going to restock them. We might expand that pen for something else. Or we just build in this carnivore sector and uh, see if everything works out well there. Uh, this enclosure is currently pissing me off because all the dinosaurs are sitting up here in the water and getting mad that they don't have forest. Um, I put in a dome viewing gallery here in the water to at least cover them when they're up here being stupid. But yeah, it's currently been a bit of a problem maybe if i delete some more of the food in the water they'll have no choice but to go inland but they'll still cluster here i think um and it'll be a bit of a problem i should maybe do it i don't know no currently all the cars are here and they're just going to be panicking away from them anyway so we're just gonna ignore this <laughs> oh they're moving so I think ultimately the panic is partly why this happened, because they've all been panicked away from the vehicles, which has just forced them into the lake more. Let's do this. Let's try it. A little bit of science. Just delete everything in the water, and then they have no choice but to go inland for food. And then uh, hopefully they get panicked um, further inland, and they don't just all clump up here in the water. And we'll probably be dealing with some bullshit, at least temporarily, while they're uh, cranky. We could jump in a jeep. Okay, so the Rex is ready. Let's get a Rex made. And when the Rex is cooking, I'm going to jump in the jeep. And I'm just going to muster them all inland. And then we'll see if in the long term, moving the food out of the lake just kind of keeps them mixing around. I just don't want the cars acting like they're a goddamn invisible fence. So, Tyrannosaurus. What do we want? We could just do one that's not a film skin. Let's do it. Let's make a blue Rex. I don't even know. Blue and red. It's not going to look like anything. I know it's not going to look like anything. Because it never does. Because the Rex skins are some of the worst in the game. 100% uh, humble. 100% lifespan, I think. We just want the one. It is one to two eggs. I think we're just going to take the one, though. Uh, I need one more gene. 
point. Can I actually even get one more point of genetics? No. So we just cut back on the lifespan. Eh, just by one pip. All right. 4.5 stars. Oh, shit. I didn't even notice we jumped that high. That was certainly because of the added um, viewing dome. Turns out we had a lot of appeal that was out of view in that goddamn lake. All right. I'm going to fix these guys. All right. Enclosure's been dealt with. Intelligent, humble, long-lived, intelligent, antisocial, humble. We'll take you. One T Rex six four four. Yes. Okay. Then we can grab a. Oh, we lost a gate over here. We can grab a uh, bioluminous, indominus, and Indoraptor once that one's out. We might as well set up the uh, the indominus. So yeah, the new skin Lux is a specifically a a skin. It's not a pattern or anything. Right? So you don't get any combos. There's just one specific glowing Indominus. Same with the Indoraptor. Which is, um... Certainly something. It, it could be a little more interesting as a pattern, but I get why it's just a standalone skin. They already had a full set of patterns, and they're not breaking the, the seal on expanding those out, which is maybe disappointing. Rex is on its way. Uh, let's grab that Indom. Uh, you need 19 gene. That's what can we even do? Like 16? Yeah, 16. I'm going to just push that one scientist over. I don't really care. Uh, well, in that case, I guess we got to do nothing because the park reports in the fucking way. Actually, uh,. Yeah, we just do none of that. Shut up! Don't beep at me. I I am in charge here. Uh, wait, what do we modify? Resilient. Still seventeen. What else did I change? Oh, intel. Uh, roll the dice. Let's roll the dice. Let's roll the dice. We just need not intolerant. Come on, baby. No whammies. I currently have a crisis on my SSD for uh, storage space. I have moved and deleted every single thing I can, but I don't want to move any of the Steam games off of there, and so we're stuck. Actually, not the worst looking Rex. I'm actually shocked that this rex skin i picked actually looks like something i'm kind of astounded um the blue and the red actually works it's actually blue and you can actually see the stripes that's wild so uh forest open space you need sand you are the opposite of anakin you love sand there you go. There's your big sandy sand pit. Okay, uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, I think it's good. I think it's fine. Okay, yeah, okay, clear. Rex do go hard, I understand. How is that? Wait. Oh, I'm doing psych ads. Fucking fuck. Very well. I understand now why. Why my trees didn't count. All right. That is actually a pretty good looking Rex. I count me shocked. I'm amazed by this. Uh, for the record, this was Mangrove Paparana Rex. All right. Well, uh, looks to me like it's going to work. Pen is viable. So, next question, is the Indominus viable? Fucking of course not. Are they going to always be aggressive? 
Dislikes and threatens others. I guess intel doesn't actually matter, huh? I mean, I would, like, kind of assume that an Indominus is going to be, you know, aggressive. Actually, leaving the 25% intel, it's possible that just improves the odds of not getting aggressive because of how gene selection works. Which is to say, I don't know exactly how gene selection works, but you never get more than three. All right. Well, we might just be here for a while re-rolling these things. Well, we take another crack at an Indominus Rex. We might as well also set up our Indoraptor, who at least doesn't have to deal with um, fighting against uh, aggressive, because he's going to be in his own pen. So I guess there's actually an argument to get this guy first. Um, we can do 75 Humble. We'll take another crack at the the Indom No, we gotta do the Indominus Rex first, logically, right? You can't make an Indoraptor without having an Indominus Rex. We must struggle and persevere on the Indominus Rex in order to just get the Indoraptor without much effort. Fuck off, Storm. Leave me alone. Well, this is our fourth Indominus Rex, and they're all aggressive. So why don't we just breed one of these and chuck it out and see what happens. If he kills uh, somebody, we'll just uh, get rid of him or put him in his own pen. Maybe the social animations are effectively a hidden feature in that, like, if you're playing with Dinosaur Comfort and Jeans turned on or whatever, they're always aggressive, which makes sense for the Indominus Rex to always be aggressive. And you just can't see them interact. Fucking piss off, Storm. I feel like I just got out of a storm. Oh, well. Well, this is the spe the experiment we're doing. We're sending him over here. A cryo. And we're seeing uh, if he's going to kill these raptors. Because he's aggressive. Uh, and I kind of assume he will. What can I say? But I don't actually know. Unless unless it's special and the Indominus Rex counts as a Velociraptor for the aggressive gene, right? If, if the Velociraptor and Indominus don't actually count as other species here, maybe it's fine. Um, so this is the Bioluminescent one, which you could just see the Bioluminescence kick on depending on camera angle, which is really funny. We can do one of these. Nice little, little dusk there. All right, well, there it is. That That's all he do. He's got some glowy stripes. He's got some glowy head bits. Mixing, and manipulation, and that's him. That's that's the endo. The end result is a hybrid dinosaur. Why does he need two prey feeders? That's kind of nuts. There you go. Um, yeah, this pen is nowhere near big enough for him, so we're going to have to expand it. That is how it works. Uh, the raptors and the Indominus are the same species. In fact, the Indominus is the alpha of the pack. So now the entire pack is pissed because they don't have forest or open space. Because they're using the Indominus as uh, environmental needs here, which suck a lot. Uh, 24 seconds on the Indoraptor. I'm once again expanding this pen, this awkward mess of a pen. Uh, if I put this guy back here, it's almost certainly not going to fit. Like, So I don't think we can really put them together with the Spinoraptor. Which is uh, unfortunate, but like, whatever. I mean, we could expand this, but we can only expand like this way, weirdly. Because we can't get too close to the intelligent pens. And then we're going to put like Indoraptor in here, probably. We're going to try to. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a little weird. Intelligent, aggressive, intolerant. Sounds like an Indoraptor if I ever heard of one. All right, there's that. But yeah, the same thing should apply to the Spinoraptors, I assume, I would assume. Okay, but they have separate packs. The Spinoraptors and the Velociraptors didn't join up into a single unit like the Raptor, Velociraptor and Indominus did. So if we put the Indominus Rex in here, what actually happens? Do they form one big social unit? 
does the Indominus and the Velociraptor form a unit? And then the Spinal Raptor just hangs out by himself and is happy to be with them, but not part of the same pack? This is a mystery. I have no idea. Uh, that's probably... Really? You're going to get Common Cold? You little shit. You little nerd. Okay. Well, I'll probably want to breed a second batch of uh, raptors. We're going to actually replace this curved section here and fix it real quick. They won't notice the gap. The goat saw it. The goat was like, this is my chance. I can get out of here. I can fucking live. Um, yeah, so this is like an awful pen because they're, they're just going to hang out here in the front where the goat feeders are all the time. But like, maybe... Well, yeah, that's why they did it this way. It's because it's because in the film, you know, they talk to each other because the film is very stupid. So that's why they made him just form a single social unit. Um, it's consistent with the film. Conceptually, I hate it, but like, I get it. <laughs> I understand. I see why it's happening. I, I'm surprised to see the mechanics actually went far enough to even do that. Um, and not just uh, eh, is the landing strip, not just uh made them cohab like any other two species but made it actually a cross species pack it would be really cool if we had other instances of that like in jp3 the corythosaurs and parasaurs like co-herded together so how cool would it be if in this game corythosaurs and parasaurs just formed one herd with one alpha between the two species that would be sick as fuck That, that'd be so cool. That's also a thing that they call attention to in the novel, where um, I believe it's the apatosaurs and the parasaurs herd together, because the parasaurs act as lookout for the apatosaurs, and the larger apatosaurs act as a predator deterrent to protect the parasaurs. I think that's... It's in the Lost World novel. I think I'm remembering that correctly, the two species. It's definitely parasaur. I just can't remember for sure if the other one was the apatosaurs. It's gotta be, because there's, like, no other large herbivores that like stand out in that i mean there's triceratops and stegosaurus but like but yeah okay uh indoraptor that would be that would be a really neat thing to see is just an expansion on like the cohab mechanics uh let's put you back here let's get a viewing thing set up we're at 4.9 stars so this indoraptor is gonna finish the park build up for sure let's just make sure uh we actually have you know a functional park before it ends Get you topped off real quick is there a gate yes there's a gate on here there is a we'll need a a feeder one of them all thank you goodbye what a terrible time but this actually was like a really tedious park to start building which just was shocking that turning off research actually made the early game worse never would have guessed okay uh yeah so this seems like a thing well let's get this indoraptor in there i forgot how awkward and weird the icon for the indoraptor was like what the fuck is this icon he's just like arms straight out like Ooh. it's very weird all right there's the old indoraptor he's uh he's brown and gold i guess and at night he glows pinkish red. Wow. Yep. This is the dinosaur created with the I do like the quills. It can even see into the quills having the, the stripes on it, which is not a film thing, which is why there's no like proper film skin for the Indoraptor in GW2. Yeah, no problem, Alan. I uh, just needed time to get around and look at it, and it wasn't too hard to do. Just need enough time to like test it and everything, get it all uploaded and updated. Okay, they need rock. Uh, looks like the pen should be big enough though. Might need more water. We can put in a second leg. Just a little one like that or something. That seems fine. 
smooth out the ugly hillside get uh, i'm just going to use the brush honestly at this point just a little rocky beach around the water good enough you know maybe not really let's chuck some decorations in there while he wanders around I have uh, an alpine rock. I got this for you. There's another one for you. I have one of these. I don't know why the, Indo the Indoraptor likes rock. It feels like he shouldn't like rock because he was kept in a uh, goddamn stone dungeon. Okay, carcasses. Who died? Who died and why? You died of old age. Uh, how do you feel about this? Are you... Yeah, pop two, so you're fine. And the raptor... Pop two, yeah. Huh. So raptors are social, right? I think so. Which means they become non-social when the Indoraptor takes over the herd, which is funny. But I mean, you'd always have the Indoraptor and one Velociraptor, so there'd always be two. So it's not really that different. Um, let's get these carcasses hold, hauled out of here. And I guess I might as well restock the Raptors real quick um, while the storm rolls through. We can't we can't leave them without a proper you know pack. I'm going to need you to uh, move around a little more. I mean, he doesn't like trees at all. So we can just also do this. Clear that shit out of there. And it looks like the margins here are fine. It just misses the path. It doesn't matter that it intersects the uh, viewing dome. The path is the only thing that actually affects any of that. We'll just do a big dumb lake. Big, big, dumb lake. Okay, even bigger and dumber. A little bigger, a little dumber. There we go. Less trees. Happy Indoraptor. Please. Please. Oh my god, my dude. Okay, he'll find it. He's close enough. It doesn't need to be perfect. Okay, uh, what did we lost? What's damaged? We got uh, garbage here that's damaged. We don't care. We've got garbage over here that's damaged that we don't really care about, but fix it anyway. As long as it's not the fences, everything is fine. Can you get that so I can get raptors back, please? Please. Friend, please. Okay. Well, they are ready to go. We got a blue, echo, and a delta. Maybe we'll just take uh, the three. We can have echo, an intelligent delta, intelligent blue is social. Sure. All right, and then we'll let the uh, the ratings reset here too, and do a population count. So, yeah, galleys are still good. We had a few die, but like they're not close to having any problems really. Even though they look like they're trying to get through the fence. Don't you phase through that fence. I'm watching you. Don't get any ideas. Shit. Okay. Essentially five stars. Too many could... could perform better um 
Um, these are all minor details. It's probably still recovering post storm anyway. I literally don't care about profits anymore. Probably another, probably some of these small ones. Yeah, there we go. Um, Okay, get my raptors out of the hatchery at least. Which one was left? Charlie. Oh, that's perfect. We got a new blue delta and echo. And the only surviving raptor from the original pack is Charlie. That's, that's, he's going to die, but like, he made it kind of. Okay, five stars. Great. So yeah, presumably we can just do this and the raptors are still counted. We don't need to see them come out. So four raptors in the north and spinal raptors four in the south or whatever with the Indominus. Uh, we guess we never did a Scorpius Rex, huh? Well, that's fine. He didn't get a new skin. Forget about him. He's non-canon or something. Doesn't matter. We're not going to... We don't have to, a spot for him. We don't need him. So, yeah. Three Encolodicus, five Ankies, three Carnos, four Diplos, 21 Galleys, one Indominus Rex, one Indograptor, six Paras, eight Sinoceratops, five Spinoceratops, five Spinoraptor, one Spinosaurus, eight Stegoceratops, six Stego, eight Struthi, five Trike, one Rex, and eight Velociraptor. That is a full park. That is um, 156% appeal. Yeah, so this is Jurassic appeal with like hard income level, and you still need an extra 50%. 99 dinosaurs. What a nice number. Well, that'll be it for this uh, video. We'll be taking a short break from JWE. I have some upcoming trips that I have to deal with, um, both business and personal. Um, and I think a break would do me some good. We will have a new series launching soon on the channel after this is up. So there won't be a content lull. It just won't be JWE 2 for about a month or so, maybe. Um, and then we'll pick up our challenge mode, no pause runs from there and continue those. Um, so yeah, uh, until then.